And now finally a comparison between well-priced CPUs. It's the AMD Ryzen 5 1600 versus Intel's Core i5-7600K. Currently these two processors come in at almost identical prices, with the i5 costing a tiny bit more currently. With that said, welcome everyone to this comparison. Now right off the bat I have to apologize to you guys. First off I'd like to clarify I borrowed the 7600K from someone I know for a single day. Even though it was only the tray CPU without any box, I unfortunately totally forgot filming the b-roll of the i5, actually almost ruining the specific video. So let's pretend the i7 I filmed is an i5. And to make matters even worse, the 7600K was tested before I got my 3200 MHz DDR4 RAM in. This means I ran the benchmarks at 2666 MHz only for the i5. I guess I could have done some retesting on the Ryzen 5 chip at 2666 MHz instead of 3200, but I was super short on time and needed other things to get done real quick. So this is a really messy video and I know some fans and trolls will go crazy in the comment section about this. However, for some sort of projection, I did include the difference between 2666 MHz and 3200 MHz and the case of the i7-7700K. So you kinda could get an idea on the difference you'd see on the i5 with faster RAM. The Ryzen 1600 sports 6 cores, 12 threads, the i5-7600K just 4 cores as well as 4 threads, a simple quad core. The Ryzen was tested with the ASUS Prime X370 Pro board, the 7600K with my MSI Z270 Gaming M7. Now let's roll in those benchmarks. So first of all, I'm suspecting RAM speed wouldn't matter as much on the i5 as it would with an i7. And yet, there aren't mind-blowing differences noticeable with 3200 MHz memory on the i7 side either. But you could add some frames here and there, but the majority of game titles, for instance, really wouldn't show much of an improvement with higher clocked RAM. The Ryzen 5 1600 for sure is the better CPU for raw horsepower where it's needed in aspects such as image, video editing, and of course, rendering. While in the majority of games the i5-7600K holds up remarkably well against the 1600, one really can't say anything negative on the 1600's gaming performance. But still overall, if it's just for games, the i5 might still be the better choice right now. But I think that could change in the near future, when hopefully more cores can be utilized and that can already be seen from time to time in games such as Crisis 3, where Ryzen clearly takes the lead. 
rate. When looking at the wattmeter, the power draw of both processors is quite impressive, especially the i5 consumes so very little power it blew my mind. But compared to the all-around performance you get with the Ryzen 5, I ultimately find AMD's solution to be the more efficient one. So which one of these CPUs should you get? Well, although opinions differ, mine is Ryzen pretty much destroyed the core i5 and I see no real reason to go down the i5 road anymore. The Ryzen 5 1600 after all can even compete with Intel's more expensive offering, the i7 7700K. But what are your opinions on this? And again, sorry for this kind of a messy video. I had to make a decision on whether or not I should produce this video or not due to the missing video scenes and 3200 MHz RAM results on the i5. So please understand my situation and don't be too harsh on me in the comment section. I have feelings too after all, I'm not a robot. And this is where I'm gonna end this video. I hope you still enjoyed this one and as always, thanks for watching.